Josh Allen is about to take the NFL by storm. And how is that a bold take? He was an MVP candidate last year and is seen as one of the best quarterbacks in the entire NFL. Well, we got to see him in action in preseason for the first time, and I saw a lot. And I actually want to make my entire argument off the first drive of this game against the Packers, and I think I can do a pretty good job of doing this. And why we see such, especially quarterbacks, take such a huge jump from season to season, because during the season, you really don't want to mess with your mechanics that much. You get to watch film for the next week, but when in between seasons, we take these huge leaps because you get to mess with mechanics for months and months, perfect things, watch months and months of films on yourself and other players, and make these huge jumps. And what I saw from Josh Allen in the first drive showed me that he's going to take a huge step this season and run away with the MVP this year. So let's go over the first drive and then we'll talk about why this is so critical and if he adds this to a game, what made him so good already and why it's going to be so unfair. So starting off the drive, I want to show a compilation of plays in a row. I won't spend super long on each play like I would a normal film analysis, but he starts off the drive with a hitch to Cole Beasley and then converts the third down with a simple curl route to Gabriel Davis to pick up the first. And then the next play hits Dawson Knox on the flats for six yards and then he hits Emmanuel Sanders in the flats to pick up the first another underneath route to Gabriel Davis for a quick seven another hitch route to Emmanuel Sanders for the first on this next play he faces pressure up the middle rolls rights flips it to Devin Singletary for six very repetitive but another hitch to Emmanuel Sanders to move the chains and here we go third and 20 hitches and swing passes just won't cut it anymore he drops back steps into a throw absolutely fucking ropes it into Gabriel Gabriel Davis for the touchdown. This throw was incredible because the ball barely left eye level 38 yards in the air. So why did I just show you the entire first drive? It seemed kind of boring till the very end and that's exactly the point I'm getting at. And the best analogy for this I can give is a Ferrari in GTA. Have you guys ever been playing GTA and you just go the speed limit, you turn on your blinker to change lanes, you stop at red lights, but as soon as the cops come, boom, 300 miles an hour, you were gone. That's what Josh Allen reminded me of last night. What I took away from this drive is Josh Allen showed ultimate patience. Eight throws, the longest one being seven yards in the air. This was one of the few problems I saw in his Josh Allen's game last year. Even though he was improving and had a good completion percentage, he trusted his arm too much during certain spots, and even though he made a lot of throws, he left a ton of drives short and yards on the table by not taking the check down. This is why Brady is so frustrating to watch sometimes, because he will religiously take four to five yards of play if the defense gives it to him, and that's why him and Rodgers will consistently throw 10 or less interceptions in their careers. This is also something I've seen in Mahomes implement in some of his games last year that he really didn't have at all in his first two seasons. But what I saw yesterday in Josh Allen was Aaron Rodgers in Ben Roethlisberger's body. Now let's look at some exploiting plays. I'm going to show a compilation of some of the most ridiculous throws Josh Allen made last year and some Houdini-like escapes from the pocket he made with his legs and his side or just straight up running through linebackers. These are the Ferrari-like plays that he is absolutely capable of making and only Mahomes and Rodgers can make. He's extremely accurate, can throw off balance across his body, he can throw 80 plus yards deep and 40 plus yards on a rope. He can throw a post route against cover 3, which just shouldn't be possible unless you have an absolute hose for an arm. And him taking this next step and becoming as patient as an older veteran quarterback is just terrifying and is why he's about to take the NFL over. In his rookie year, he had a 52% completion rate, went 5-6 and six as a starter, threw 10 touchdowns to 12 interceptions. The next year, he improved to 58% completion percent went 10 and 6 as a starter and had 20 touchdowns and 9 interceptions and this past season is when he made that huge jump he had a 69.2 percent completion rate went 13 and 3 as a starter threw 37 touchdowns rushed for another 8 and only threw 10 picks he went from having a quarterback rating of 49 in his first two years to an 81.7 so what we look at last season it's not bold to say that he's going to do well it's not even bold to say he's going to win mvp but what is way more important than that is we need to understand why we we need to see his progression as a player and what we instantly noticed from last season to now and it didn't take more than a drive to notice this. This game didn't even feature a guy who changed life in Buffalo and Stephon Diggs and even though I believe the Dolphins and the Patriots are much improved from last season and are going to be competitive, this is Josh Allen's division he is showing that he is ready to make some noise in the playoffs and he isn't going to be content with another conference championship. I believe he thinks he's the best quarterback in football and he's ready to prove that he can play winning football and be a quote system quarterback aka nothing Nothing flashy, play the defense and take whatever they give you and be ready to be the most talented guy in the league when the time comes to it. I know the Packers weren't playing a lot of their starters in the defense in this last game, but it was very promising to see Josh Allen have a clean pocket in every play on this first drive besides
besides one. This is going to be an awesome season to watch. I cannot wait to see Josh Allen on the field. I cannot wait to see him take the field with Diggs and the full lineup. So again, it's not bold to say he's going to be the MVP. It's not bold to say he's going to do well because a lot of people think he could have gotten it last year unless Rodgers, like Rodgers is like carried away with it. But this year before going to the season, I could see Brady winning MVP just because of all the weapons he has. He's more comfortable in the system. He's going to put up some ridiculous numbers. Lamar Jackson has some more weapons on offense. I think he could have a case for MVP or Mahomes is just always going to be in this conversation for like the next 10 years. But after seeing this, I knew Josh Allen was special, but what I saw him take this step in this first game was highly, highly impressive. And that's why he's going to be my runaway pick. But I wanted to make sure you guys knew why he was going to be my runaway pick. But let me know what you guys think. Make sure to like this video. If you like videos like these, make sure to comment down below what you think of Josh Allen and what you saw from his first preseason game and what your predictions for him or the year are going to be. And make sure to subscribe if you enjoy daily sports content. Thank you guys so much for checking out the channel. I appreciate and love every all the support you guys give, all the comments, all the likes. I read all of them. I appreciate it all. Thank you guys so much, and I will see you all tomorrow. Peace.